Hey Drew, do you got anything that can sleep seven or eight comfortably with a king size bed, bath and a half, plus an outdoor entertainment? Well, I definitely do with this brand new 2022 and a half Keystone Avalanche 378 BH. We're gonna start on the outside of the coach first, going over its different features before we head inside. So if you're new here, we welcome you to the channel. Continue to show your support by leaving your feedback in that comment section down below. And let's get started. But if you got a larger family and you need to be able to sleep seven, possibly even eight individuals comfortably, the new Avalanche 378 is certainly one to consider. But I went inside myself and I opened up all the sofas, turning it into its full sleeping arrangement. And I do believe you can sleep nine, maybe even 10 without any problem. Now, of course, that does really depend on the size of your guest though. But coming at you 40 feet, seven inches of total length with a dry weight as it sits minus the propane tanks and the battery of 13,740 pounds. Hitch weight on this model here in the bed of your truck of 2,820 pounds. So just make sure you're checking the load and tow capacity of your vehicle before you purchase this camper. And to make things even easier with hooking up, you got this reflective mirror. That way you look in your rear view mirror straight back at the reflective surface down at the kingpin so you're not really looking over your shoulder to assist with hooking this camper up. This model is going to be riding on a 12 inch I-beam construction. It's leveled from a six point hydraulic leveling system. That's the front legs here and I'll point out the middle and the back as we make our way through. All the controls to operate the leveling system are found right over here on the driver's side of the coach. But just by simply pressing of one button, this model will level itself. And I like how Avalanche does it. You're within direct line inside of the kingpin. Certain makes and models, they place these controls inside of the pass-through storage compartment. And to me, it's a little bit of a hazard, safety hazard. If your head is inside of this compartment and you're raising and lowering this thing off of your vehicle, you really can't tell, you know, what's going on. So I really like when they do it this way. This is what I call the water management system. The water lines will come up through the floor, connecting to your city water connection or the black tank flush, just depending on what you're doing. And of course you have one for the front and one for the back because you do have a bath and a half. This is your satellite key TV. And if you were to add a satellite to the roof, it's already pre-wired to do so, making things a little bit easier for you. Black and gray handles located here, but you do have an additional set found on the back because you have a bath and a half. So you'll have another set of pull handles back here. This is gonna be the 12 gallon gas or electric hot water heater. And as you go throughout the coach, you're gonna notice these different brackets. This is for the blind side camera prep. Furion brand, it's a really great system to work with. This particular coach is gonna have three different hookups. One on each of the blind side markers, plus one in the back. Both of the propane bottles are located on one side. Makes it even easier whenever you are attempting to change them out. You can order the Avalanche model with generator prepped, with just prepped. So you're gonna have all the controls inside, plus the wires coming back in here. So if you were to add it, it makes things a little bit easier for you. This is gonna be the hydraulic manifold plus a battery disconnect located way over there. But one thing I wish Avalanche would do a little bit better on is cleaning this area up. I'm a little bit of a neat freak and I just like to see things a little bit better organized. But coming around to the main side of the coach, you got two different awnings. This one's 16 and that one's 10 feet. The windows on the Avalanche are going to be 80% tint, frameless windows. However, you can get a dual pane window, but if you took the dual pane window option, the windows go from frameless to more of the frame style. So that's what you'll be getting on the outside if you took the dual pane option. One really impressive thing for me is the door height. You're looking at six foot four, almost six foot five entryway, 30 inches wide, four different steps. And this is gonna have a friction hinge, keeps it from swinging back on high wind days like we're experiencing now. There's a pretty good thunderstorm heading this way, so we're trying to finish up. 
I should have had this open, but this is your pass-through compartment. Right at 200, 200, I said 100, a little country. 200 square feet of heated basement. And this is gonna be the floor. I always like to show off the floor joist. Another blindside camera prep. The slide mechanisms are rack and pinion slides. Your suspension has been upgraded along with the kingpin with the more ride system. It gives it a little bit more smoother ride while traveling. There's a shot of that 12 inch I-beam. Absolutely massive foundation found on the Avalanche. Rack and pinion slides. And I do believe I hear some sprinkles starting to happen. So we're gonna try to finish up the outside and head in. Outdoor entertainment, right at a 32 inch television. You do have a plumb sink. Outside lights, those are for right up here. Miniature high point fridge. IRV Technologies radio with Bluetooth capabilities. And this is the entryway right, right into your half bath. Let's come around to the back. The camper's got a real mounted ladder with a 250 pound low capacity. That black circular puck. That is going to be the blindside camera prep for that third camera. You also have a two inch receiver, but not for pulling a trailer. This model is only going to be utilized for maybe a bike rack or a luggage rack. More additional storage, so lots of exterior storage on the Avalanche. And this is a really cool little pasture from the inside. Maybe a place to put a laundry hamper, keeping all the dirty clothes out of the camper and just more inside of the underbelly. And the sewer connection for that second half bath, not the second half bath, but the second sewer connection for the half bath. Found back here behind the tires and the pull handles for the gray and the black are located back here. And one thing to point out, I know this is probably common sense, but I always have customers sometimes will call me, ask me where are the pull handles for that second one? I can't find it where well, they're labeled on the outside of every single camper, making it a little bit easier to find. But it's about to rain, so let's go ahead and head inside. And I do believe I timed that one absolutely perfect because as soon as I stepped inside, it started to pour down outside. But that's quite okay because the temperatures here in Mississippi this week have reached almost 105 degrees. So a little rain shower here and there. I am quite okay with that just to cool things off a little bit. But coming in right at 40 feet, 7 inches of total length, and I'm going to give you an estimated 14 feet of walking space found in the main living area here in the living room. You're going to have two total slide outs or tip outs, whichever you prefer to call it. But one really impressive thing is the width. 100 inches wide, giving you that much more additional walking space, unlike some of the other models on the market, which are only 96 inches wide really really nice to have that and another really good thing to have is the slide box height right at six foot ten giving you plenty of headroom but unlike the avalanche 390 zero where you have a freestanding table and two recliners this one's gonna have a long party couch providing with a sleeper sofa a sleeper sofa and a theater seat some little tongue twisting at things backwards today removable dining room table and that's mounted to the front of the sofa and during transportation a lot of customers will store this underneath the king size bed in the front but it's really stored underneath this sleeper sofa all the window treatments inside the coach are going to be black roller shades and some of them are trimmed out with this valance on both sides and the windows are already going to have that 80 percent tint so between the combination of all three it does a really great job as you can tell with keeping all that natural sunlight out of the coach Coming around to the kitchen area, you're gonna have solid surface countertops found in the kitchen. And I like how they bring over the darker colors for the island from the slide box trim. You can get this model with two different types of refrigerators. We've opted for the 12 volt gas or electric model, but you can get it with a residential fridge, still gonna be 18 cubic foot. This one's gonna have the fridge on the bottom with a freezer on the top. And these are the controls to switch between the different levels, either gas or electric control from here. But again, fridge on the bottom, freezer on the top. Still the same size fridge that you would get if you were to opt for the residential size. 
Furion stainless steel oven with a matching pull-out drawer on the bottom. Three burners on the top and it referenced the size. There's my hand and my wife says I have these tiny Burger King hands and I promise you that's not a very big burner. Plenty of room though inside the oven maybe for a casserole dish or a couple pans of biscuits and this is that matching pull-out drawer that's provided. Coming around to your pantry, hidden over here next to your fridge corner style pantry you're gonna have also ventilation for your furnace inside the pantry there and that's the notice additional space under the door that's so you can get plenty of airflow up and underneath there coming around to the right this is what I call a coffee prep station additional space for another accessory like a coffee pot or maybe even a crock pot you got the 110 outlets over here solid surface countertops continued your cabinet doors as well as the pull-out drawers in the Avalanche model will be solid wood unlike some of the models which have more of a wallpaper material giving it that real wood look. One thing that's really really nice too going into late 2022 is going to be these slam soft close latches. Some of the other 2022 models that you may see aren't going to have those and again going into late 2022 this is practically a 2023 model. So all the heat, let's talk heating and cooling for a second. Notice the randomly placed floor vents from the floor, and that's the ventilation. You're gonna have a 35,000 BTU furnace control from both of those bigger propane bottles in the front. But some of the heat can also come from this electric fireplace. The fireplace produces right at 5,500 BTUs of heat. You can turn the heat off though and utilize the lights to assist your guest with moving around the coach. But just by simply touching of a button, you can change the color of the lights and the temperature inside of the coach as well. AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, Jensen sound bar, inside and outside speakers. And this is gonna be a really big 50 inch television. This does pull away from the wall. So you can adjust that angle. And I can already see this comment coming. Even though you've got sleeping for eight, your living room only provides you with sitting for four but you do have a second sleeper sofa in the coach so you could still have plenty of sitting room for everyone let's come back into the guest bedroom now but first notice the sliding door whenever you're in transit be sure this door is in the locked back position that is glass so one good stop or brake check or hard acceleration and that door is not latched you could possibly come off the hinges I've seen it done and these doors become shattered but coming back to the guest bedroom where you got this second sofa this does open up to a sleeper sofa providing you with possibly sleeping room for two there is a fold down bunk on the top this bunk here is only gonna be five foot eight inches long by 36 inches deep Notice the black roller shade. It doesn't have the valets, but it still does a good job of keeping all that natural sunlight out. Really, really tall slide box, six foot 10, so plenty of headroom for all those taller teenagers or adults. Coming back to the back, coach being 100 inches wide, you've got plenty of sleeping room along the back, almost eight feet of sleeping room there. Only, I think you're at 29 inches wide, but coming around over here, you're at four feet deep, right at I've got a little cheat sheet here six feet long so plenty of room for a full-size adult and I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat and show off the entertainment center slash store center for all of your guests pull out drawers available but notice the television connections most televisions are measured diagonally and when I measured it you're at 52 inches across but from top to bottom you're only at 24 inches high so just be mindful of that whenever you purchase the television I do believe you can fit maybe a 32 inch TV this is going to be entryway for your guest half bath that way if your guests are just wanting to wake up and just utilize the bathroom they don't have to come all the way to the front to disturb you your countertops are going to be a little different and please pay no attention to all the sawdust this camper just arrived this morning I haven't had a chance to sweep it out just yet but the countertops inside the bathroom are what I call a hard heated, this pressed membrane. It's a hard heated plastic wrapped over the material, which keeps it from swelling in the event that it comes in contact with water. This is gonna be your medicine cabinet that's provided. 
porcelain foot flush toilet with your own entry to the outside leading directly to that outdoor entertainment which is nice that way if you're camping your kids can go in and out the bathroom without coming through the coach letting all that air conditioning out especially on days like today where it's extremely hot outside coming upstairs but before we do so this is going to be the main control box for all of the controls for your camper awnings both of your awnings your fan switch for back in the back right over here slide operations one switch for every slide all of your light switches your gas or electric switch for your hot water and this is the water pump and this is what i call a tank monitoring station so it tells you the current levels of all of your holding tanks here you got two different thermostats on board all of them but excuse me the first one's going to be here this is going to be controlling that main air conditioner in the back which is a 15k and i'm going to give you a good sound quality test right now gopro does not provide you the best of sound quality but it is a whisper quiet 15k air conditioning unit and they're very very quiet compared to last year's model there have been lots of upgrades to that air conditioning model improving the airflow Coming up into the master bedroom, where you've got this east to west 70 by 80 king size bed. Sleeping room for two more adults found here. One thing to point out though, ceiling height. Once you step upstairs, you're at six foot five. So lots of additional headroom for all of our taller viewers. Washer and dryer connections found to the right for a stackable washer and dryer. Four different pull out drawers. You still have the black roller shades continue, but you have the balance this time. Television connection, so maybe around for about a 32 or 38 inch television found over here. Just, but honestly, I saw this yesterday. Let a professional mount your TV. We had a camper come in on trade and the guy didn't know he did it. He drilled straight through when he mounted that television bracket in his bedroom. Coming around though, I want to show off this dimmer switch in the bedroom which is one really simple thing that make things great it's always the simple things that really impress me the most and speaking of simple things look at this avalanche has increased the size of the nightstand our shelf i wouldn't really call it a nightstand next to the bed giving you 110 outlets underneath the shelves last year's model the 110 outlets were located on the side of the bed box. So you'd have to really crawl underneath the bed just to plug something in. Additional storage found in the bed with those hydraulic cylinders making it even easier to lift up and a really nice trimmed out place for additional blankets, luggage, or maybe even that dining room table that you saw inside of the living room. Your closet on the front, plenty of space and I've get, gotten told that I don't show the closets enough so I'm gonna make sure I get this. Plenty of space for all of your stuff. Washer and dryer connections again. But if you don't want it, you have additional space provided. Let's go ahead and flip around and go over the bathroom really quick. So one really decent sized bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Notice the ventilation from the 35,000 BTU furnace. And I feel like I need to go through the other door to give you a better angle. And this, by the way, thermostat for the bedroom air conditioner another 15k really really quiet both of those air conditioners work together to keep the coach cool they will be racetrack together so if this air conditioner in the bedroom is on it will blow all the way to the back bedroom in the back one piece fiberglass shower ceiling height in the shower of six foot three and a half lots and lots of additional headroom plus the bigger seat for the ladies. Solar Flex 200 on board, so that yellow sticker. Randomly throughout the coach, you'll find about seven different outlets that have that yellow sticker. If you were to upgrade later down the line, adding an inverter, you could have power going to each one of those stickers that are getting labeled. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the manufacturer stated that this camper could easily sleep eight comfortably, but I kind of disagreed and said, I do believe it can sleep 10. So I've gone ahead and opened up both of the sofas to show you exactly what I mean. And we're going to start back here in the guest bedroom. So one, two, three, four, five, six. However, this 
back bunk, six feet long, four feet across, could possibly sleep two, bringing the overall total for your guest bedroom upwards of seven individuals. So now let's rotate around to your living area where you could call this an overflow. Eight, nine, bringing the overall total if you include the king bed in the front, upwards of almost 11 individuals inside of this new 2022 and a half Avalanche 378 BH. Do me a favor, leave me some comments down below or interact with the video in any other way by leaving a thumbs up. All your actions with the video, they help me out more than you guys know. For pricing and availability, I always leave a link in my description taking you back to my website where you can also view more additional photos as well. But at date and time of making a video, MSRP of $107,140. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.